Hello and happy Monday again. We're just going to jump right into part two of kind of our focus. We've been talking about motivation, different kinds of motivation and how to get yourself motivated to begin pursuing your goals in a meaningful way. And last week we talked a little bit about some of the differences between internal and external motivation. Feel free to go back and watch that video. Today, since we are just right around the corner from the holidays, we're going to talk about how you can stay on track track through the holidays because if you're like me it's just the most difficult time of year for most of my life I think like many people out there my health and fitness goals tended to go like this in October all the way until until January and it starts actually for me it always usually started like before Halloween because you know you have to go like buy the Halloween candy if you hand out Halloween candy uh, my family always has and we trick-or-treated and my husband and I still do hand out Halloween candy and like you're eating that candy sometimes sometimes you have to go out and replace the bag of candy before the children come because you've eaten all of the candy that's me um, and like from there you know we still have candy left over so I kind of snack on the candy until oh look it's Thanksgiving and food and we make tons of desserts and you know all this food and you're eating munching and kind of eating off of that until you know Christmas and you're making you know special little things you're getting like you know that the peppermint the peppermint donuts and drinks at Starbucks and places and all this stuff you're kind of indulging all throughout the season um, and pretty soon it turns into like a three month bender where you're just kind of like indulging the entire time steadily throughout it really, really heavily some days and kind of just scattered throughout the rest of it. And you don't need that. And my excuse was always, well, I am just enjoying my life. This is the most special time of the year. I love the holidays. I'm just enjoying myself. I'm not going to be one of those, one of those crazy fitness people that puts counting calories and exercise above making memories and enjoying, you know, this time of year. And the problem is that that is an excuse. You don't need to be, you don't, I mean like, why, why do you need to go on a three month bender? to enjoy the holidays. I know that my body does not need that. I might want it, but I don't need it. So last year I made some new goals for myself and I was like, I really, really want to stick to my goals this year. Uh, I was beginning to make some progress in my own fitness and bodybuilding journey. And so I cut a deal with myself. I was like, I am going to thoroughly enjoy myself and enjoy the holidays. I'm not gonna deprive myself, but I'm going to be limiting it to the holiday itself. I gave myself Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and then New Year's Eve. I was like, those five days, all bets are off. I'm not tracking food. I'm not limiting or depriving myself. I'm just going to take the day as it comes and enjoy myself. But outside of that, no, like outside of that, I'm sticking to these goals. And that meant on Halloween, I bought the Halloween candy like the day before, like I think like the day before Halloween. And then I made sure it was all gone by the end of the night. Like I was like handing out handfuls. So some of those kids got lucky the last few because like it was getting later and I was like, I can't have this. I can't have this in my house tomorrow. I'm back on track and I'm prioritizing my health and fitness. Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, day, New Year's Eve. I just enjoyed the day, enjoyed the foods, thoroughly, really deeply enjoyed myself. And I honestly felt better in doing that because it wasn't this three month guilt fest of just, you know, overeating, overindulging and feeling bad. Cause don't you kind of feel bad? Like when you're just spend three months, just eating things that are not good for you, it affects the way you feel, you feel lethargic. And then a lot of pressure kind of builds on yourself in January where you're just like, Oh my goodness. I wonder how is January me going to make up for, you know, like the party girl of October, November, December, who was just like living it up with like pumpkin spice lattes and Halloween candy and holiday foods. You don't need that kind of pressure. Your body doesn't need it. And it's an excuse. You can find ways to make the holidays enjoyable, but you don't need to be unreasonable because you're lying to yourself when you use it as a three month opportunity to just go hog wild. You don't, that's not necessary to enjoy holidays and special time with friends and family. Last year was probably my most successful holiday season to stick to my goals. And it's hard for me because I'm a really, really big comfort eater. Ugh. But I was able to stick to my exercise and diet goals for most of the time, excluding those five days. All bets were off. And I was able to drop in um, 
two and a half months, about two and a half months or so, I dropped about 5% body fat by sticking to my other health and um, fitness and nutrition goals. So it's possible that you need to decide now, I'm gonna give myself whatever days your family celebrates, give yourself those days, don't deprive yourself on those days, and then have a no nonsense, no nonsense attitude that outside of those days, I'm jumping back on it and I'm sticking to it. Have some strategies in advance. If you know what your weak points and your struggling areas are, for me, it's having anything in the house that I don't need to have because I'm a really big comfort eater. And when I'm tired, when I'm cranky or emotional, like I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it, I'm going to eat it. So for me, that was, I bought the Halloween candy like the day before and they will still have candy at those stores. They won't run out. Um, and then I got rid of it all that night. For the holidays, if you are hosting at your house, try to give yourself a few more like healthy options. Maybe make some healthy swaps, like swap out um, cauliflower mashed potatoes for regular mashed potatoes. That's one of the recipes um, on my blog if you wanna go find it. Give yourself a few healthy veggie options and then don't go crazy on like the desserts and some of the fatty stuff. Still have them there, still enjoy it. You know, but maybe decide, do I really need to make like five pies and three cakes? And then like, you know, like, uh, you know, this, this other little thing over here, probably not. Like you might be okay maybe making just one or two desserts and just enjoying that. Like you don't need to have a huge smorgasbord. Um, and if you have guests that are coming, maybe send stuff home with them. Send some of those desserts or those tempting foods home with them. Find somebody to give it to. Donate it. Whatever you have to do to keep it out of your house if you're hosting. For us, we always go to other families' houses, so I just prepare um, healthier options for me. I know they'll have goodies there and I can indulge in them that day, but then I'm not taking home a whole bunch of like super fatty or sugary leftovers that are just going to be sitting in my fridge and they're going to be really, really tempting. Um, Make sure that you have some strategies for your weak points and then treat those days outside of it like any other day that you're going to be sticking to your health and fitness goals. That's the way that you're going to do it. That's how you're going to get through the holiday season um, more successfully possibly than you have other years. If you have any other strategies, things that you do to kind of help yourself stay on track um, during difficult seasons, I would love to hear them because maybe you've got something that I could use. So feel free to share or comment below. But other than that, that's our thought as we're heading into the holidays. They're not an excuse to just go on a three month binger. You can do it, you can stick to your goals, you can make progress. You might be surprised by how much progress you make in that time, but no nonsense attitude. Choose the days that you're gonna be indulging and then stick with it. So that's our thought, that's our motivation for the week. Other than that, have a really, really great rest of your day and I hope you're sticking with those goals.